Have you tried to visualize data that has huge differences in scale like this? As you can see, most of the data points here are less than 100 units, bearing one which is above 2000 units. Plotting a normal column chart with this data will result in something like this. The single largest data point has taken up most of the space, making it almost impossible to read the values for smaller data points. This is the topic of today's session. Let's see how to create broken bar and column chart in Excel. This chart is a lifesaver when you have data with a huge difference in scales. It helps you clearly see both the big and small values without getting lost in the details. Let's get started. Before we plot this data, we need to plan the axis. We need to figure out the point at which the y-axis will break, the point at which it will resume, and the width of the gap that will display. Looking at the data range, we can define the starting point of the break as 80,000 the ending point as 700,000 and gap width as 10,000. The next step is to prepare the data. We have to figure out how the original values will appear below the break, between the break, and above the break. For below the break region, the maximum value that can be displayed is the break start value. This means data points below the break will appear as is, but those above it will be limited to the break start value. Between the break values are not applicable if the data point is less than the break value. In case it is greater, it should appear as the gap whose value we have defined here. Similarly, above the break region is not applicable if data point lies below the break start point. However, if it is greater, we have to display the difference of original values and the point at which the break resumes. With that understanding, let's see how to prepare the data for the three regions. If data is less than the break start point, we take the original value, otherwise the break start value. The values in break region will not be applicable if data is less than the break start point, otherwise it should be the gap width. Values in the region above the break will not be applicable if data lies below the break region. Otherwise, we show the difference of the actual value and the break resume value. Next, we will insert the stacked column chart. For that, we will select the labels and the newly prepared data. Note that original data is not plotted. If the gap looks small, we can adjust the gap width by changing the value in this cell. In my case, I will double the gap width here, which looks good. Next, we will select the portion of the bar corresponding to break area and change the color to white to make it disappear. For the portion lying above the break, we will select the same color as in the bottom bar for the sake of continuity. To give a broken look to our gap, we will create a white colored rectangle and superimpose blue colored triangles. After adjusting for size, we will paste this shape on the break region of this column. Next, we have to prepare the data for plotting a dummy y-axis. It may take a little trial and error to come up with the best values for plotting the y-axis.
In this data, the values in Y position column will determine the distance between the tick marks on the axis, while the values in the labels will be used for display purposes. Note we have no label defined for the break area. Value in the X position will be used to plot a vertical line except for the dent that shows in the break region which will be plotted using a value of 0.2 for X. Once the data is ready, we will plot the dummy axis. Before that, we will delete the original axis, right click on the chart and add the new series. We'll add the series name as Y axis and select the Y position values as the data values. We'll select the newly added data points and change the chart type from stacked column to scatter plot with state lines. We will select this line and add the X position values which will create a vertical line for our Y axis. We will change the color of the axis. Next, we will add the data labels and position them towards the left hand side. We will also select the values in the label column to display. Uncheck the original values and a new dummy axis has been added. This completes the video on broken column chart. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.